Well, you know what, Leanne, it's been such an exciting journey these last couple of weeks on Expresso because along with private property, we've experienced the process of buying a home and today we are here to reflect and we are, of course, joined by our panel of experts. Lepoy from the Financial Aspects is Head of Home Loans at NetBank. We're also joined by Lisa, who's part of the legal side of things, a partner at Dykes van Heerden. And then we're also joined by Leanne from Hollards and that is to cover our insurance questions that we have for you. Ladies, it is great to have you on Expresso show. Nice to be back. Well, Lepoy, I need to ask you, you know, we're giving our viewers a roundup of our first time home buyers experience. From your personal and professional point of view, what is your final tip when it comes to approaching the home loan process? Yeah, so Zoe, I think um, getting to grips with one's monthly financial commitments is a good place to start. And then I think first time home buyers should also um, take advantage of the online financial tools available, like NetBank's instant bond indicator. Okay, so it's very important to take a look at your current finances before you make a commitment. Absolutely, yes. And Lisa, when it comes to preparing yourself for the legal process of things, what is your final advice? Okay, so firstly, Zoe, the first-time buyer must surround himself with experts, legal experts or estate agents, and become familiar with that offer to purchase, that sale agreement. As I mentioned before, Zoe, it's a binding agreement between the buyer and the seller. So once it's, once it's signed, there's no turning back. Also become familiar with the costs involved with buying and selling property. That's very important. And know the product that you're buying. No. Footstoots is a strong protection the seller has, so you're buying it as is with all the patents and latent defects. So make sure you go into every single room, you look at the financials of a scheme and understand the product that you're buying. I think that's very important for first-time buyers. And I think it's also important to go revisit the property you viewed. You don't necessarily just have to view it one time before making that of big course, commitment. Definitely. Now we all want some sort of insurance and Leanne, this is my question to you. We've touched on insurance, but what is your final tip to our viewers so buying a home is probably the single largest transaction anybody will undertake mm -hmm. and really there's a lot of stress involved in that but having the home burned down once you once you're starting to pay for it is a proper disaster for most people and that's really where insurance is really effective so one of the steps everybody should take is to meet with their financial advisor and broker and talk through things like life and disability insurance, your homeowners and buildings cover, as well as if you want protection against those latent and patent defects or home warranty. Insurance is very effective this way and can give you that peace of mind and we always say, you know, if you can't afford to insure it, you can't afford to buy it. Oh, that's true words indeed. Well, I like that. That's peace of mind. And that's exactly what you ladies provided here today. So, Lepoy, Lisa and Leanne, thank you so much for your expertise, advice on, you know, it's, it's a quite a daunting process to buy your first property, any property indeed. Well, ladies, thank you so much for your time and for joining us. And private property, they understand that buying a property can come at quite a hefty price. Now, to help financially provide uh, private property, ran a competition along with this episode of the first time home buyer series on Expresso where a viewer could win a 20,000 Rand voucher and we finally have a winner so on the line joining us congratulations to Tsolofolo Bohata congratulations you won yourself that 20,000 Rand <laughs> Any idea what you're going to buy? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Well, listen, congratulations for winning. Um, spend that money wisely, but we are also happy for you. So congratulations once again. Thank you so much. I'd like, I would just like to say thank you to Private Property and Expresso as well. Oh. Thank you so much for that. Well, we know that buying a home is an incredibly exciting process. Now, if you have missed out on any of the episodes on the series, be sure to go to privateproperty.co.za. Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse, or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property.